वेलकाम फ्रेंड्स टू एक्सल बिगिनार्स एंड एडभांस टीप्स इन आवर लास्ट भिडियो उइ हाव क्रिएटेड यूजार फर्म थ्री एंड हेयर फ्रेंड्स यू कैन सी हेयर यू कैन फाइंड द टोटल पार्चेज उद इन ए स्पेसिफिक डेट अफ ए पार्टिकुलर प्रोडक्ट and you can also see the total stock of that product say within last month uh, within, within this month that is november 2019 say 30th up to 30th november 2019 or 31st say 30th so you can see total amount of petrol purchased is 16500 and total stock at present is 313 similarly friends today i want to know or i want to calculate the total amount of sales of this product and its stock in another user form we can find any product we can find the sold amount of any product and its equivalent stock like this and for this friends i need to create a user form here i am taking a user form we can see friends just going back see friends this size is with height 339 and width is 450 so i can also change it 339 height here 339 and this is width is 4 4450 like this and i can take all the controls copied from our user form 3 here just select all with control a and control c and going to our user form 6 like this and just change the heading total amount of total amount of sales you can say sold total amount sold of an item like this and friends here i need the same codes like user form 3 just going to the codes section here and select all with control a and control c copy and going to coming to user form 6 and just deleting this and control v paste all the codes here and friends we here i need to change sheet 2 with sheet 4 because you can see our sales data is situated in sheet 4 here so instead of sheet 2 here instead of sheet 2 you can see here instead of sheet 2 i can i need to replace sheet 4 so control f and control v and replace and sheet 4 replace with sheet 4 replace all see 16 16 replacements has have been taken place and now i want to little modify some uh, the reference of user form here you can see friends the user form here just is there any user form yes 3 here user form 3 will be replaced with user form 6 so i copied this user form 3 and and here so i copied this user form 3 and i need to replace this user form with user form 6 control f and paste user form 3 and replace 
and going there see paste here and user form 6 now replace all see friends four replacements have been taken place and thus friends some modifications like this and here in this code if sheet 4 is equal to user form 6 dot level 2 then this code will be executed ok friends let's try to execute this code here friends I think this will be our purchase sheet so here it will be sheet 2 and here also it will be sheet 2 because we need to know the total purchase on the f this line of code M here in this line of code and then we need to know the total cell in this line of code that will be de uh, derived from sheet 4 and p minus p is equal to m minus n and it will denote our stock so let's try so let's run this see what happens if i want to click any product it will show its stock yes friends you can see the total stock of petrol is 3,013 let's purchase let's uh, I can I, I can enter the date of November 2019 say 30th up to 30th November 2019 so yes friends you can see total amount of petrols sold 1230 and the total stock you can see 313 so thus friends we can we can get any product we can get any product so see we can get any product any any a, 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 we can get the amount and stock of any product within a specific date sold any product sold here friends just we can tally this if the stocks are equal or not you can see stock will be up to date or there there will be current stock here you can see in the sales user form that is the user form 6 the this user form is user form 6 and you can see that stock of petrol is 313 and let's go to user form user form 3 this is our purchase and you can if I click on petrol see their stock is stock is same and if friends I want to purchase more here in this form so let's purchase some petrol here so let's quantity 10 and rate say 20 in case of purchase I, uh, I, I, I did not get the rate daily rate from our daily rate sheet because it is the policy of business that we that there will be no fixed rate of purchase but there will be a fixed rate of sale so here in this rate section and I, I, I did not get I, I did not create any sheet for taking the rate for taking the rate automatically so if I purchase 10 quantity more so add here so let us say we can go here in the first list box C stock has become 323 and here friends if I go here in the our last user form that is I created little earlier so just run this and see see friends stock has become 323 so this is all time updating so thus friends we can get the amount of so sold of a specific product within a specific period of time I think friends this will this will be beneficial for calculating for getting the stock as well as the total amount sold of a particular product so thank you friends thank you very much for accompanying with me and if it is 
little helpful to you please subscribe this channel thank you very much friends